Hi everyone, as you can see I'm talking about Coca-Cola today. It's not really necessarily a Coca-Cola review. That's probably about the, the first uh, video that anybody who does food reviews or drink reviews does. Rather, I'm talking more about the about the uh, the size of this drink. I went to the store today to I was gonna this is my my annual Coca-Cola and my Moon Pod that I get to have. That's right. That's willpower for you once a year. So I'm not going to be uh, having the uh, Moon Pie here. And by the way, I do have a live stream I did a couple years ago about a Moon Pie and Coca-Cola. And I did a video when I first started the channel about four years ago. Well, it's five years ago almost now. Where I was reviewing a, uh, a Coca-Cola and the Moon Pie. But rather, I went to the store today and I couldn't find my 10 ounce Coca-Cola. There was a beautiful little red can like this with the white writing, and I love that. And it just said, well, this was the, I think this is 16 ounces. I don't know if they're the same size around, but the, the smaller can was the 10 ounce. And this is 16. Let's make sure I have that right. Yes, it's 16. Let's do the little thumbnail thing here, okay? Coca-Cola. And by the way, I have been to the Coca-Cola Museum. There's one in Columbus, Georgia. And that's where the Coca-Cola came from. So I took my family there. I was seeing other things over there, but I just wanted to go to the Coca-Cola Museum. Or that's where the Pemberton, where Dr. Pemberton, the inventor, lived. I think it was a Coca-Cola Museum. I know we went to Atlanta to that Coca-Cola Museum. That's the real big one. And went through there and, and and saw all the the different uh, varieties of Coca-Cola. There's so many different ones in different countries. And by the way, the formula for Coca-Cola, as far as I know, the last time I checked, is still maintained in the bank vault at the Trust Company Bank of Georgia. You might want to fact check that. I think it is the Trust Company Bank. I also talked in a video about the little town in, in, in Florida. Gee, what's the name of the town? It's called the Coca-Cola Bank. And when I was a, a, an FDIC bank examiner, that was, the, that was a bank that we examined there. And I'm so embarrassed. I hope my memory's not failing. But before that happens, let's go ahead and and have a little drink here. And this this uh, Coke here cost $2.09. I didn't want to get a, a real big Coke. The lady at the store told me this is, this is the only one that's offered now. I mean, in this kind of can. They don't, they don't get the 10 ounces anymore. So that's not what the United States or the world needs is a is it, it's a force people to have to buy a bigger size because you know we have problems with um, with a weight and with diabetes and as of last year I'm now a diabetic so I also had dental surgery back in February you now late January and this is the first coke I've had since the since about November yeah so, I like to drink these right out of the can, but I'm going to... Sorry about that. Put a little bit into our glass here. It is so nice, right out of the can, isn't it? It's something so pure about it. 
the real cup taste before it goes into a into a glass with a not too late for the fizz, darn. That is so good. And before I forget, I'd like to try and call the company. And ask them why they put so much, so much sugar in all these cokes. I know it's to sell. Eight hundred four three eight two six five three. And there's 104 percent of the sugar that you need. You have reached us outside of our normal business hours of 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Now, why didn't I think about that? You are calling about bioengineered food disclosures. Please press one. For all other topics, please call back during normal business hours. So I can't even leave a comment. Goodbye. Goodbye. I keep forgetting, you know I. Seemed like the last couple of food videos I made on the weekend when things are closed. So this has 48, I have to use my, use these things now. The total sugars is 52 grams, including the did added sugars. It's, this says total sugar 52 grams, including 52, Grams of added sugars. It's still a lot of sugar. The 10 ounce has, I think it's about 38, 38 grams of sugar, something like that. And where else? Where was this made? Just like to know. It has 45, 45 milligrams of caffeine, if that's important to you. Well, I can't see where it was made. I must have missed that somewhere. Canned under the authority of the Coca-Cola Company, Atlanta, Georgia. I think this must have been made around Atlanta, because I don't see anything Anything to the contrary. And there's a train. Every time I hear a train now, it sounds like Fortnite. Mm. So, which of you do you prefer to drink it in a glass with ice, without ice, or? directly from the can. Of course growing up on the farm we would we would drink the coke from the from the can. Mom or dad would bring us when we we're working in tobacco, they'd bring all the crew, there'd be about four croppers, two stringers, uh, the driver, four, five, six, people putting into the barn uh, raising the tobacco, about ten or eleven people, and they'd bring us a nice cold Coca-Cola or or top cola, which I don't, don't know if they make those anymore, and with some kind of a little uh, honey buns were popular, and of course the famous moon pies, whatever we wanted, they'd bring it to us in the field. You see the truck coming down the, the dirt road, and then you see the truck turn in, and you'd be coming toward the end of the row, and which is such a wonderful feeling to see that because you were, maybe in the morning you were wet from the rain or the, or the dew and cold and dirty and then the afternoon you were just sweaty maybe uh, wet from the afternoon rain and dirty, always dirty and that was the most wonderful little thing was to see that 
that Coca-Cola or that Top Cola, Moon Pie, Honey Bun, whatever. I think I actually got the Honey Bun more than the than the Moon Pie. So, I just wanted to, to mention that today, and I wonder, can you still get the 10 ounce Cokes in your area? I suppose you can, and they're probably at the, the grocery store and places like that. It just shocked me that I could not get my little 10 ounce Coke. I had to get this big 16 ounce thing, and I'm not gonna drink it all. I'm gonna pour half of it out. But it's still the same delicious Coke from, from when I was just a little, little boy, not more than a baby. So thank you for this little short video and, and I'll check you later. Peace out.